What's up, shavers and shavettes? Uncle Cosmo, back again with another hard-hitting expose about the stuff that really matters. So what that is today is we're going to be doing a versus pitting the Gillette Heritage versus the King C Gillette. Why? Because this is important stuff and it needs to be done. I'm sure it's been done already, but who cares? So, getting right to it, let me start off by saying... I bought both of these, it's not sponsored, this is just my opinion, and nobody cares. So, Gillette Heritage, got it off of Amazon for 20 something bucks, I might have been on sale for Christmas or Prime Day or something like that. Um, there it is. There's no branding at all on this thing, which for me is kind of a bummer, I wish it did have a branding. It's got a blade in it now, but when there's no blade, the bottom cap on this one kind of rattles around. I don't know if that's a glitch or a feature. I don't have any other double-edged razors that rattle around like that without a blade in there. But when the blade's in there, it seems to be pretty secure. Um, looking at the knurling, it's just got your sort of standard, you know, two-way, I don't know what the term is for that uh, knurling on there. It just looks like every other razor in your collection. Could be anything. The plus side of the Gillette Heritage is it comes in this fancy case with the King C Gillette signature on there. Open it up and it's got a little instruction card, a pack of Gillette Platinums. I think there's five of them in there and, uh, and then space for your razor. So this is really why I bought the thing because I like the case. The razor is, I don't know, nothing i mean it's a nice looking razor but there's nothing particular to fancy about it when you compare it to the king c gillette so first off look at the size difference there um let me back up a little bit the king c gillette is the razor is uh significantly longer um the the i did a whole other video review on this razor so you can check that out if you care um this just has the barber style um, barber pole style knurling and then it's smooth down here at the bottom the thing that I do like about this one is it's got the see if I can get it to focus there it's got the KCG um, sort of inscribed in there or etched in there how, whatever however that's in there um, so this now the Gillette Heritage um, the handle portion of the razor feels pretty light um, whereas the King C Gillette feels very significant. So this is a, this feels like a much heavier razor. Um, although the head of this one is quite heavy. So when, when it's all put together, it does feel, you know, sort of, um, well balanced and, and same thing for this one. They don't feel all that different. Uh, although this one is much shorter. Um, so with the King C Gillette, you don't get any fancy, um, display packaging or anything it comes in a cardboard box the cardboard box is a little bit misleading because it looks like it has like a, a titanium finish on it in the on the packaging but then you see it's just this chrome finish um, when you when you get it out but as far as looks go i, I kind of like the king c gillette better um, because i think it looks more unique and it has the branding on there versus the heritage gillette heritage where there's no branding and it looks just like my starter razor that I bought off of Maggard, which isn't bad, but it's not, doesn't look special to me. Um, however, bonus points for the box that the Gillette Heritage comes in. So I'll shut up about it. What I'm going to do with them is I'm going to do a side by side. Ow. I just did a Julia Roberts um, close the finger pretty woman thing on myself. Um, I'll do a side-by-side kind of, um, we'll do, uh, how do we want to do this? We'll do King C Gillette non-dominant hand and we'll do, um, Gillette Heritage dominant hand. If I remember, oh wait, I do everything dominant hand. We'll figure it out. Um, now it's a week off of Christmas, so going to be using Sterling's Christmas Eve soap today. This is one of my favorite Christmas scents that's out there. 
Um, it's a sample that I bought last year and I'm going to be finishing it off this year. Um, so let me work up a lather and then we'll get back to these razors. All right, that was easy. Um, the brush that I'm using today is a Declaration Grooming uh, with a B9 Alpha on there. Just paint a little bit more water into that. I like to make sure it's falling all over the place as usual. All right, so let's have at it the lather off my shirt. So we'll start off with the Gillette Heritage. Did I mention I put uh, King C Gillette blades in here? Just a, a brand new blade in each one just to keep it consistent. So let's start off. Nice and slick lather. Taking a little bit of a little bit of work to get through a, a few days growth going there. So it's not mowing through it particularly easily, but not uncomfortable. I'm trying to leave half of it there. I'll be a little two-faced here for a bit. So, okay for a first pass. Um, not uncomfortable, not terribly, um, not, or what should I say? It's not super efficient, you know, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't just make the hair disappear. Um, could be the blade. This one already feels more smooth. Just a uh, quick shout out to Sterling Soap for having an amazing product because this stuff feels awesome. About the same for the first pass. The thing I've noticed right away is that the, the King C Gillette seems to perform better with a little bit of a more open angle on it, um, up towards the cap a little bit more, whereas the Heritage felt like it was better with a little bit more of a closed angle. That soap is just gooping off of there, which is good. Yeah, it feels like it's uh this the King C Gillette seems to on this pass be a little bit more a little bit better on the efficiency side, but also feels a little a little smoother as well. The heritage was a bit more tuggy um and took a little bit more work. I don't know, I didn't count the count the passes or anything like that, but that's just my initial impression side by side. Let's get some, some more water on here.
Christmas Eve. It smells fantastic. It's the it's the most Christmassy of the Christmases that I've smelled so far. It has been accused of smelling like a Christmas candle, which it does. Um, but I think it does in a good way. I, I like candles, um, good candles. I don't like cheap headache inducing candles, but um, Christmas Eve has got us a uh, sort of spiciness to it, a pine tree thing going on, a little bit of clove going on, which all feels very Christmassy to me. Um, so let's we're go ahead and back to the uh, Gillette Heritage razor now with the King C Gillette blade installed in it. Great slickness. I don't have a ton of hair over here anyway, but that, that's the easy part. Well, that second pass feels effortless. And the, the, I think I got the soap perfectly dialed in on that one. It may have been a little bit dry on the first pass and now it's really screaming. It's good. Also helps that I have a ton of water dripping out of the razor itself. So that's adding a lot of hydration to it. Well, well, that got it down to nothing right on the second pass across the grain there. Amazing slickness. It's always impressive. All right, so the July Heritage does pretty well in the second pass. So first pass when there was, you know, a decent amount of growth there, a little bit on the tuggy side, um, not super efficient, but very, very smooth um, for the second, almost down to perfectly smooth. There's a little bit of residual stuff going on, but we're going to leave it there for now. Now on to the King C Gillette, the same type of blade installed. Now we try to stretch the skin and literally can't do it. So that's always a good sign of your your soap prowess there. I feel like the King C. Gillette may be slightly more smooth and slightly more efficient. Not, not a big difference though. And if you look at that angle, I'm like really riding the cap on that. That razor is nearly straight out. If I try to close that angle, Feels, no, it needs to be more wide open. All right, so let me rinse this off and then we'll do a, a, a final thoughts, me and Jerry. So very smooth, very close shave from both razors. Um, let's throw some aftershave on here, keeping the holiday theme alive. We've got Dickens Revisited from Barrister and Man. And 
these, uh, this is meant to smell like some Christmas cookie something. I can't remember what they are, snickerdoodles or something, but it's actually a really good pairing with Christmas Eve. I was doing it the other way around last week with um, shaving with Dickens and using the Christmas Eve aftershave, but man, that's really, really smooth. That's good. So final thoughts here on the, let me wipe these off for appearances. You can keep up. So we did Gillette Heritage razor versus King C Gillette razor. They look different. They don't shave all that different. They uh, they feel pretty much the same, um, but the shaving angle is different. So it seems like the, the Gillette Heritage feels good about here, whereas the King C Gillette feels good, you know, maybe more like that. So um, a little bit of a different technique, um, but all in all, they feel basically the same um, as far as on the skin. Um, bonus points for the heritage is you get this pretty nice box. Um, this is the reason why I bought this razor was for this box. I'm disappointed in the razor's appearance itself, the heritage, just because I would prefer some branding on there. I'm a collector. I collect, I want, I want it to say Gillette something on there. Um, King C Gillette got the branding on it. Um, it's got a unique look. It's got a substantial feel to it. I, I feel like uh, if, if I were to, ha if I had to make a choice, they're similarly priced. I can't, I don't know their exact prices. This one that you get at Walgreens, the Gillette Heritage you get on Amazon. If I had to make a choice, if I had to get rid of one, I, I, th I think I would keep the King C Gillette just because it's unique looking, um, almost has a bit of a futur thing going on, but not really. So. Um, I think I would stick with the King C Gillette. I, I like it. Um, however, I do like that box. So the good news is I'm a collector and I get to have both because they're both 30 and under. So we're not talking big money here. They're relatively cheap in the grand scheme of things. Um, really quick, just let me show off this brush a little bit. I'm going to wipe it off. This is a declaration grooming brush look at the pour on that thing isn't that beautiful um i don't think i've shown this brush this was the lather games brush um but that's a a real beauty with this really good looking um blue like cobalt blue on the bottom right there it's a gorgeous brush with the b9 alpha um so i won this this was the my prize for um the lather games um but a great or a great uh, brush and B9 Alpha is a great knot in it as well. So there you have it. That is the great battle, head-to-head -head battle between the Gillette Heritage Razor and the King C Gillette Razor. Um, both of them very, very similar. I'm going to go, I'm going to stick with the, with the King C Gillette. If I got to make a choice, that's what I'm choosing. So, uh, how about until I see you again? Bye.